Here's something that I think is an interesting thought. Here's an interesting thought that I think. Here's a thought that interests me. Think about the first human person, one of us, or something like us. Think about the first humanoid. Think about the first being, I suppose, which we assume was a creature that looked like us, or was a human. Anywho, you, you, get, you know what I'm getting at. I don't, we don't claim, I don't claim to know the past. Even though there's all sorts of evidence there could very well have been, you know, uh, a civilization before time sort of thing. Uh, there could be stuff that we don't know about. Um, I don't think that, but I don't know that. Anywho, I'm, this is way too much of an intro. Think about the first turtle to ask, what are we doing here, you know? Because, like, for the longest time, we knew why, w w what, we, what we were doing. We knew why we gathered resources, for example. Like, we gathered resources because we put those in our mouth and we chewed them. Or we built them into a house and we slept there. And we generally only gathered stuff together to fashion it into things that we use to sustain life, or we sustained life with stuff that we chewed and swallowed. And then as we went on, at some point, we had enough stuff, and then we just started stacking it, right? And then, once the stacking began, then certain luxuries and super happy fun time implements and resources came into play. Like, you know, the first time somebody smoked a thing, and was like, well, this isn't like, this isn't sustaining me, this isn't giving me nutrients, I'm not gonna starve from having not smoked today, uh, even if I go 12 days. I don't need to smoke, but I'm gonna, cause I wanna, you know? So we, then we started doing stuff that we wanted to. And then we started doing stuff where, you know, we would manipulate one another and come up with ideas of kingships and chiefs and hierarchies and such, where the hierarchy before used to be, it wasn't philosophical, it was just like, I'll kill you and take all of your food, sort of thing. You know? Um, all, all of that stuff started at some point, whereas before we just did stuff that the nanimals do. And... Some of the nanimals do some pretty complex stuff, but for the most part, they're 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 looking to to carry on to survive. Um, you know, they don't they don't make chandeliers, is what I'm saying. We make chandeliers, super complex ones. I, I mean, I I love a good chandelier. Um, and then we get to the point of novelty where we have you know sacrilegiousdildos.com so on and so forth and things like you know if 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 a loved one dies and uh and you got to get him cremated it's super expensive to have the body burned and you're not allowed to do it out in the woods uh no matter how safe you are about that you're not in america you're not allowed to do a home cremation and then once you once you like you know cremate them at the at the at the cremation store they they sell you uh a receptacle and they can charge whatever they want for that because it's a super specialty item in the same way that like a glass smoking pipe is far less expensive than a, a glass, you know, once again, dildo. Um, you know, an, an implement of masturbation is gonna cost a lot more than something that you just smoke stuff out of because it's, 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 it's a tender subject, you know? Much, much like the urn is a tender subject, ergo they can charge a lot of money for it. Anyway, what I'm getting at is we, you know, we come up with this stuff and, and it, it has to be explained and then at some point it takes cultural root that like this thing is more valuable than this thing, you know? Um, the, the garbage man does not make as much money as the doctor 
and I th that's probably for the best. But you know, you could argue that it, that the, you know the person who does the more uncomfortable uh, thing, you know, because who who would be who would go and, and pick up the garbage just for 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 pride, you know, somebody. But I, I, I've always theorized that if there was no economy, if there was no monetary system, that there would still be doctors, there would still be healer people, because there are people who generally just want to help. Um, they just wouldn't feel such a constant obligation, so maybe that would present problems, or maybe it wouldn't. Maybe there would be just as much people ready to help you uh, if there wasn't a paycheck. Anyway, we had, to, we had to decide what to do with the resources and the stuff, right? It, it's, it's not obvious. It, 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 it was determined at some point, and it was decided upon, and then it was agreed to, and then it took cultural root. It got this momentum, and now there's like a juggernauts of, of cultural understanding going on that are that there's there's some of us are being like, whoa, that's super weird. We just never thought about it because we weren't there for the the moment that decision was made. You know, things like. Uh, Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, think about the first person who asked, what are we doing, or why, you know? Because at some point, somebody had to, you know? That's, anyway, I could've went on and on, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go visit the uh, remains of my great-grandparents. I'm gonna go visit the graves of my ancestors. I've never been to these graves before, but uh, there's a cemetery in Detroit where my nanny and Bobby, um, I'm told they, they rest there, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do that on this beautifully gloomy day in October. I love you all just for existing. This has been an interesting thought with Zachary Winchester.